So as I said, Supergirl got two sneak peeks. The first sneak peek, I'm positive, takes place after this one occurs, but either way, both scenes are very good. This one is mon Al and Kara in a bar, essentially having a bonding moment. So let's watch and enjoy. One, two, three, go. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, hi. Could I, uh, could I just please have a club soda? Hey. Hi. Hi. Do you work here? I do. Yeah, you know, after the, um, gosh, after the incident, they were a little short-staffed, so I took a job. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I, I like alcohol. I've been known to like alcohol, so I just really feel like this is going to be a great job. Uh, I'm glad someone's feeling like they get in somewhere. Oh, it was a sad sound. You know something that's going on? No? Come on, talk to me. I am a, uh, a bartender now. I've just been feeling the twixt in between of late. The twixt in between? Yes, but a story came across my desk today. A missing girl. I'm gonna find her. Can I offer you some unsolicited advice? Do I? Like if you go looking for trouble, Trouble. You shall find. Thank you for the completely useless advice. You say useless? Mm. Yeah, that's not club soda. Yeah, what exactly is club soda? <laughs> not this. As I said, I really did like this scene. It doesn't give too much away to the plot at all. Kara says she's looking for a girl that's gone missing. I'm assuming on some level that missing girl is going to end up leading Kara to the other planet, which of course is going to bring mon to that planet as well, which we saw in the preceding sneak peek. But I really just enjoy their interactions. I think Melissa Benoist and Chris Wood have a really, really great chemistry. I see the couple. Like, I really do see the potential. I think it's funny that Kara isn't acting awkward around him after that kiss. I feel like that's something she would keep in the back of her mind and kind of not be able to shrug it up. Um... But like that's kind of irrelevant because I think she really does like him and he doesn't remember that kiss and I clearly know he likes her. We all know that he likes her. So I really do love any time they get to be on screen together because you just see essentially the sparks of a really, really strong romance. Now, I don't read um, comics. It's just not something I do. I love all the shows. I love the mythology of the comics. It's it's huge. It's such a very, very, very big base. But... Um, one one of my friends who's a very avid comic reader, you know, has told me that Monel is weak to lead. And we actually learned that in an earlier episode of Supergirl. But I'm really, really curious if his weakness to lead is going to make him have to leave the planet. And I'm wondering if that's going to be like the finale. Like they're finally going to get together. And then because he gets really, really sick, he needs to leave in order to essentially recover. And Kara would rather have him alive, but not with him than dead and with her. You know, it's double edged sword right there. And obviously she wants him alive because that's just what Kara does. But I I'm really curious to see if like that's like going to be like that ending twist. It's going to like make the mon -El shippers or the mon -El Kara shippers, you know, get really upset because we'll know we'll he would come back. Supergirl did get renewed for a season three, which is exciting. We still haven't found out if uh, you guys are Once Upon a Time fans who watch the Supergirl reviews. If Once has got a season seven, though, uh, it's not looking too good at the moment. But point being is this scene is just fun. It's fun. It's a bar. mon -El is acting kind of goofy. He has a job. The dude has a job, which is which is good. Like you want him to work because it's, you know, making him and Kara have something more in common, you know, that, you know, likenesses and differences are great. He has a job in a place he, that, you know, really works. Uh, he has the bartender job, which is excellent. You know, he's able to, to, to be kind of suave and I like it. I really, really like it. I think placing him in the bar as for after he talked about the, the incident where essentially all of the, uh, aliens were eradicated is smart. It's fun. And um, I also really love how he gave her club soda, but clearly was not club soda. So anyway, I just like the dynamic. I'm really curious to see uh, what's going to happen with Kara and this missing girl. I'm, like I said, I'm assuming it's going to lead them to end up on whatever planet they are on. But I really like the sneak peek. I thought it was fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Leave your thoughts about the sneak peek in the comments below. If you get no more sneak peeks, I will be covering Supergirl around 9.30 or 10 o'clock on, on Monday night when it airs. So thank you so much for watching my review and leave your thoughts in the comments below. Okay, guys. Bye.